Sandia River Delta spin together. <laughs> I love the Sandia River Delta spin. Um, this video is to hammered shit steak, Jonas, which I wonder if what would that be uh, here in North America? Would you be a uh, would you be a Jonas or a John or a Joe? What would you be? Um, but anyway, hammered Jonas. Uh, have you thought of uh, patriotism, a work ethic, uh, through the eyes of cowboy culture? Because um, then it's totally different than that Susan Cain thing. Cause actually, because mostly, uh, well, it's not totally different, because really it's just the one part of um, what it means to be an introvert and working in large groups, uh, or um, what it means to be an introvert and having an opinion that isn't matched by somebody else's. But since they're not trying to get you to change your opinion and vice versa you can actually respect the difference of opinion um, I'll give you a couple examples uh, one that I especially like was uh, in uh, uh, Dragonfly where uh, the, the sci-fi Western where uh, Mal's robbing a store and the shopkeeper says something like uh, something like he says brown coats eh? fought for independence that's a long way from thieving work and Mal said uh, War's long done. We're all just folk now. And, uh, because, like, a lot, in a lot of cowboy culture, as far as how it's directed at patriotism, um, it's pretty famous for a couple different, um, aspects of, uh, the Civil War as, uh, the cowboy culture, um, people riding all the way from Texas, uh, to be a part of it, um, uh, and families dividing up, like, one family fighting for the North, one family fighting for the South. And like I said, if someone's opinion, you know, wasn't trying to change your patriotism, uh, what you believe, uh, you know, patriotism to you means this, and you don't, you don't necessarily want anyone or need anyone to feel the same way. Um, and as long as no one's trying to change your way and you're not trying to change their way, that's actually where respect for other people's opinions uh, comes into play. Um, it's real famous uh, in uh, cowboy history and cowboy uh, literature uh, and cowboy uh, myths and legends of the, the brothers getting together or after the war being done. Um, it's one cowboy story that uh, I, I just stumbled upon, a really old uh, cowboy series, was uh, uh, some soldiers from the north, some from the south, were now, you know, everybody's out of work. Uh, there's, there's nothing... Uh, there's rebuilding to do, but uh, there's a whole lot of people and uh, not enough for everybody in, in many ways. And uh, in one case, uh, one man's uh, w one man was there, and his feeling of patriotism actually was, um, "This fight's none of my business." Uh, he was like, "I'm too old to fight," and he was like, "That he was a crotchety old fur trapper," and so. Uh, so he was in there because he came back to the city because he was sweet on a dancer. Um, but he talked about his country and his patriotism. And uh, he talked about the mountains and uh, trapping and the rivers and uh, uh, what he'd seen and how he felt out there. And uh, um, that sounded like an awesome patriotism to these, uh, these uh, ex-soldiers. And so they all rode together. And uh, their differences, you know, the, the war's long done now. We're all just folk. Their differences didn't mean anything. Though they respected each other's beliefs, and that was that was all. All you need to do actually is uh, respect other people's beliefs, especially if you uh, if you trust them, and uh, are going to be trusting them. Um, you know, way out in the middle of nowhere. Um, so, like Jonas, you're like you're talking about like you know, like look looking at through the cowboy culture's eyes about you know where your patriotism might lie. Um, like it might not lie in uh, imaginary borders um, or it, it might not match uh, the vast majority of the people around you. And, and that's what these uh, cowboys did is they started riding. And uh, they, they ride, riding into unclaimed territories and whatnot was, you know, they felt that was their country. This country is amazing. and But they didn't mean, you know, this name or... Uh, this uh, this government claiming it uh, they meant this and so I would I would think that you know like 
like cowboy culture it would barely recognize the fact if you wanted to move from your country to another country it would be like uh, you know he rode out to find his fortune you know never actually that's the classic cowboy tale is uh, leading it leaving everything behind with just your saddlebags and your horse and going out there to find out what your future is going to be like and then the whole thing about hard work uh, and how, how hard work comes into uh, the cowboy uh, ethic is that um, the reason a man works from sun up to sundown isn't because he's just crazy about work it's because uh, because that, that's just what he's doing and uh, if the whole idea of finishing heading back to the bunkhouse and then hanging out with a cook and anyone else who's done um, that's just not appealing you'd rather uh, and it's not necessarily what work all day it's like you're doing what you're doing all day long um, the uh, whole idea of like after you clear out some wells and uh, pull some uh, cattle out of some uh, ravines uh, and then you ride uh, the fence line for like seven hours looking for breaks and fixing any that uh, cattle might have knocked down. Um, that's seven hours just kind of riding along. Occasionally looking over and making sure the fence is intact. Um, that's working all day and that's doing what you love and what you want to do. And uh, you're doing it most, you're not really doing it for the fence or the cattle, you're doing it for the solitude. So, um, yeah, it's, and I'd say, you know, so it is, it is, I think hard work is great. I think that uh, it just depends on um, why you're doing it and, uh, and in some cases who you're doing it for. Um, because I believe mostly you should be doing it for yourself. Um, I was like, every once in a while, and throughout my life, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll run awry of like a, a company policy or um, completely make mistakes. And someone will be talking to me about doing a good job. And I'm like, oh, I want to do a good job. And they're like, well, yeah, but you didn't check these things. And I'm like, well, see, everything about me would lead you to believe I don't like being called into the office. Like, the whole reason I work hard is to avoid this. Um, so this, you know, telling me different ways to work hard um, isn't going to change anything. Um, it's just, it's just the, it's just the nasty repercussions that I know are going to happen uh, now and again because mistakes happen. And uh, the thing is, I don't accept they happen. So I'm like, oh, whatever, that'll go wrong, because um, I'm trying to avoid this. But the fact is, sometimes things get screwed up. It's just the way of things. Um, so I'd just as soon not be called into the office. <laughs> oh, yeah, if at any point in time you thought I didn't mind getting called into the office, uh, maybe that's when you should be calling me into the office. Um, yeah, well, anyway, uh, Jonas, I just wanted to throw this at you. Because, um, like, you seemed angry, and I wonder if... Uh, if your anger would change if you looked at, uh, if you looked through the fence, except you looked through at a different uh, hole and uh, looked at through cowboy culture, because then, because um, then all that matters is, is you. Um, you know, how, how, what do you believe in? Uh, what are you loyal to? Why do you work hard? Um, I don't know, so I was, I was interested to see if that uh, changed anything for you. So, one more spin and then we're out. <laughs>